Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another Click Look video where me and Penny the Piggy have a look at the 2019, no we don't, we look at the 2014 Imagine FX magazines and today we're looking at issue 11111. I like it when that happens, when you get loads of the same numbers together. Oh, why is me camp? There we go, look. I like it when you look at the clock or something and it says like 333. Or something like that. There's something quite um, powerful about seeing a bunch of the same numbers together. But this is the August 2014. Look at those covers. Look at that for a collection of, like, sort of, I would say, high quality covers. And that's the thing. Imagine FX this year, for 2014, the covers have been beautiful. So last week we looked at this one. And I'll put a link and everything in the description. But this was the Myth and Legend special. Which was brilliant. We've also had look, this one here, the Batman comic art. But my favourite cover so far, I'm going to actually say it, is this one, which was the May 2014 issue, the Game of Thrones special. Now, like I said, I'm not really into Game of Thrones, but that cover, I love the connection between the the dragon and the lady. I think it's cool. But this one here, look at this. We've got a is it a lady? I think it might be a lady, but we've got like a possessed person. What I like about this is the the sort of the the evilness inside of that. It's almost like this this person is turning into some sort of demonic entity. I love that. It's like a moment captured. So which one is my favourite? That one. So my favourite is still still that one but this one is right up there I would say this is probably going to be my third favourite or something so we've also got a skull but I feel a little bit sorry for this person because you can still see the, the human trying to sort of resist being possessed I think so let's delve into this one which is the dark fantasy one hope we get loads of stuff like this Little Penny's let us in. Here she is, Claire. Get a little Claire kissy. Well, I'm not seeing. Look, that's quite cool, isn't it? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, as with um, sort of turning into some sort of thing. We got. I like that as well. Look, strange little creatures. I want more stuff like that, though. <laughs> look at him look. Hello. He's like something out of Resident Evil. That is cool that. Yay! F expose. Monsters. We like monsters. Oh that's cool. I like that. I like fishnets. I've always liked that. Look, we've got a um like something out of Stranger Things, that is. He's a cool character as well. Futuristic Ninja. Oh yeah. Look at this character here. Love the hair. I love afros. <laughs> look at that, look. Little baby's not afraid of death. Look at her eyes. Tell you what, there's been some beautiful um, artwork in this year's FX Pose. It's quite cool. P Gong. Yay! Freddy. B movies and beyond. Is Freddy Krueger a B movie? I, I, don't, I would have, I would have thought um, Freddy's a more of a sort of a. Ah, oh, I like that. Look, how sexy is that? That's a Warren thing image, isn't it? I've seen that before. Somewhere. I like that as well. Dark Knight Falls. Alien. What an iconic creation that was. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 
My only experience of Buffy is playing the Xbox original game, which I thought was brilliant. And I'm not really into Buffy. <laughs> look at that, look. Rough. This is the artist studio of Camilla. Another clean, crispy one. Traditional artwork. Yeah, books. We like seeing books. Little figures as well. They're into manga and anime. I always like looking at other artists' bookshelf. I think you can learn a lot about them from their little bookshelves. Letters. Look at this for a beautiful cover look. Artist Q and A. Eyeballs. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's cool, isn't he? Like a dog frog. A dog frog. Froggy doggy. Why do they do that? Why do they put those things in their ear? Is it just a fashion statement or is it an actual sort of some sort of, is there actual purpose for it? Les Edwards. I like that. There's something there's something very um interesting about the fact that they've turned probably one of the most beautiful people into that. <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, that's Hero Quest. Now, believe it or not, there is a shop up the road that has got this board game, Hero Quest. And the thing is, he wants 60 quid for it. So, but I want to get that. How oh, cool does that, 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 for me, that sums up the 80s. That sums up the 80s for me, that image. It was just, it was just cool. I mean, that is brilliant for me. Iconic. So who was this? Les Edwards. Les Edwards created that. Brilliant Ian. This is. <laughs> look at him look. Back issues. Here's the sketchbook. Tran Nugian. Gentle. That's what I would say. Gentle and a bit lonely. That's what springs to mind. A little bit sort of, um, yeah, a little bit lost. Plastic wax. <laughs> Slimer. Oh, this guy's, this guy, I want to see this one. How cool is that? Jeff Simpson. Doll! Oh. Create textured atmospheric art. Blood on the hands as well, look. Hey, that's weird, they took the blood off. Or did... The blood was more pronounced in that image. 15 ways to add evil to your art. Skeletons. That's one way. Yeah, angular shapes. Skeletons really, isn't it? What's weird is we are all skeletons really. So in a weird way we're scared of ourselves. Because <laughs> we're skeletons. Probably we're scared of the fact that we... Skeletons represent death. And we all know we're going to die. So there's an element of like... We're looking at sort of our future when we see skeletons. Portrait skills in Photoshop. What's this here? Look, next week, refresh your art. See, I'm not, I didn't get excited by that image. I've almost bought that binder a few times, but I'd, I'm not sure I really... It would be nice to have it. Like you can protect all, so in other words, you can put all of your, a year's worth of issues inside of that. But the thing is, I think you have to sort of put the, the band through the centre of the magazine. And I just feel like it would actually 
ruined the issue, I'm not sure. I feel like you could risk ripping the pages. I like this one here. Look at these little creatures here, look. I like that staff as well. Props. See, props are very, um, like they changed the shape of that. Before it started out just a simple thing. And that prop, that skull has added quite a lot to that. Yeah, look. So they put the skull in right near the end. Hey, here he is. Draw and paint Marley's ghost. <laughs> mm. Vintage colour. In reviews. Flame painter free. Ref board. Ah, I had that. I think that's the thing. It was free, wasn't it? Yeah. What you did was you um, you could have like a reference image stuck to your screen as you worked on the computer. I thought it was quite cool. But what happened was when I started looking into the iPad, the iPad's got its own thing built in to Procreate. That's it, Procreate, it's got that built in. Oh, sketches that. Robert Crumb. Ah, I watched a documentary about him, Robert Crumb. There's a documentary about him on YouTube. Fascinating character, this one, Robert Crumb. He drew like naughty images, really. But the thing was, he didn't care and he became successful. I like that. The fact that he, everyone said, oh, you can't be drawing stuff like that. He did. He just drew what he wanted. And that's probably why he was so good. Because he was drawing what he wanted to, he wanted to draw. And, oh, look. Oh, I like that. Friendship. Tales from the Crypt. I used to love that. I ain't watched that for years. I wonder if it's still good. Tales from the Crypt. I like these, all these faces. <laughs> look at him, look. Hey, he's dressed up as, um, he looks like he's dressed up as Ken from um, Street Fighter. Well, I wonder what this is. Super art. Looks like some sort of live sketching thing on stage. Reminds me of um, whose line is it anyway? I love that. Got nice nails. Look, look at her pretty little nails. Drawing tricky side poses. Hyper Japan. First in James Gurney. Oh, James Gurney. Hello, James. Hey, he's a little budgie there, look. Boing. That's another one done. That was issue 111. <laughs> the Dark Fantasy Special. I hope you enjoyed that. Next week, we've got it. I wonder if it's going to be a. I've got a feeling this is going to be a boring cover. Because. Oh, no. It's a nice one. Look at that, look. Look at that. Look at the texture in the paper. It's like got, um, like a puzzle. Like it's decaying or something. That's cool. Yet again, we've got another beautiful cover. So that'll be next week, but I really hope you enjoyed this one, the Dark Fantasy Special. And I'll see you later for another one.